Hi everyone and welcome to this week's newsletter tip. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching last week's tip on how to kind of strike your irons a little bit better. Um, this week I kind of wanted to follow that example um, and talk to you a little bit about hybrids, um, utility clubs. Now for us really, um, we, we still get a lot of golfers come and see us saying they struggle to hit their hybrid. Um, and it always kind of gets us wondering because in theory hybrids are supposed to be so much easier to use than a conventional love iron. Uh, but we still seem to get a lot of golfers kind of, I suppose, either struggle to understand how to set up to use them, uh, or actually the brain kind of tricks them into thinking more fairway would, because obviously hybrids can be quite big. Now, this is the TaylorMade M3, and to be fair, this is probably one of the more compact um, hybrids on the market. But if you look at some of the others, they are actually kind of almost morphing into little mini fairway woods. Now, as a result, some of the common mistakes that we see really, again, is, is set up that people see the size of the club and as a result, they move the ball position probably a little bit too far forward in the stance, you know, it gets too close to the front foot, and as a result, they're almost trying to sweep it off the fairway, um, you know, almost catching minimal ground. Now, the problem is that's not how a hybrid is designed to work. You know, if we, if we looked at where the weight of the club is, the weight of the golf club is normally very low and a little bit back in the club to help you launch the rescue club you know, nice and high to make it kind of go much further than a traditional long arm. But to do that, we need to hit the fairway, we need to hit the ground in exactly the same way that you would do for a, a six iron, a five iron, a four iron, you know, really whatever iron your hybrid replaces. Now for me, this is a two hybrid, okay? So not the easiest club in the world, but I should stand and hit this the same as I would do with a conventional two iron or you know, a three iron, a four iron. So a little bit like we talked about last week, you know, for hybrids for me, if it's a standard hybrid off a good line, you know, normal to good line, I would encourage golfers to have it about 25% inside their left heel. Weight, again, pretty evenly distributed left and right. Maybe if you was gonna do anything, a little bit more weight on the left leg, you know, 55, 45. Um, using my normal sort of full swing grip and posture, I try and have my hands again, as we talked about last week, you know, slightly forward, you know, so you can see again, hopefully, that straight line down my left shoulder. Now, from there, really, again, you know, don't try and brush the ground on the takeaway. Don't try and keep the club artificially low like you would maybe for your fairway would. You know, do allow the wrists to kind of pick the club up, you know, just as you would try and do with a, with a mid iron, you know, mid to long iron. And again, most importantly, aim to hit the fairway. As you can see there, you know, I'm aiming to swing to make contact with the fairway. Now, okay, we're not expecting you to take divots, but we would hope that you can actually look at the fairway after you've hit the ball and actually see where it's gone from. Now, if the lie isn't very good and you still want to use your hybrid, so maybe you're thinking of using your hybrid more out of the rough or the ball sort of sitting down, there is a second option. Now, option two, would be to move the ball even further back in your stance. So we're trying to play it a little bit more in the center. We'd still have our weight favoring that left side, so maybe we might go as much as sort of 60, 40 now. And again, we'd expect to have the hands a little bit further forward. Now, the reason we're gonna move the ball position and make these changes is to try and hit down on the golf ball steeper, uh, allowing you to sort of dig the ball out of that, that, that bad line. Now, there is a consequence that, that comes with this. So if you do this and only this, what will tend to happen is you will probably make clean contact, but you will notice the ball will go further right than normal. And that's largely because the earlier we strike the golf ball, generally the more the club is swinging to the right or the more the face is pointing to the right, and as a result, the ball tends to go to the right. So if you were going to adjust your standard hybrid setting for the rough, if you're going to move the ball back, do aim fractionally more left to try and offset, obviously, this effect so you can still hit the ball straight. But, you know, let me have a go at hitting one for you. Um, let me just quickly reset the screen because I was just in here doing a kitchen lesson actually with someone. So, here we go. Let's move this out. So, where are we? Perfect. Okay. So, for me, two high grade, as you said, I'd probably hit this about 225, 230 on a good connection. So, so I'm going to try and play it, as you said, so just inside, so 25% inside my left foot, weight neutral to slightly left, hands a little bit ahead, and again, just try and make sure that I try and hit the ground with the contact. Well, that's a little bit blocky, 
but kind of hung it up to the right, but you can see the connection was good. And as we talked about, he's gone to 26. Okay, so not the, not the worst hybrid I've hit in the world first shot of the day. So, you know, hopefully that kind of helps sort of um, eliminate some of these misconceptions around hitting your hybrids and utility clubs. Um, but anyway, really simple this week. So give it a try next time you go out and play, and let us know how you get on. And uh, more importantly, keep reading this week's newsletter below. And uh, I'll see you all next week. See you later, everyone. Bye.